Good evening everybody and welcome to this video. Today uh, I've got a bit of a project. My daughter is, well my oldest daughter is in second grade and uh, they've started to get a little bit homework on the computer and um, I, she's been mentioning that she wanted her own computer. And I have this old Samsung laptop. It's a Samsung NP300 V3A, it's called, apparently. Um, and it's really slow. Um, it's an old computer that my sister had, and uh, she managed to break the uh, port for charging. Uh, I'm not sure if the battery works or not, if it does actually charge and keeps the charge, but we'll find out afterwards. So we got to do a little bit of an upgrade and also fix the charge port. And to do that, I have purchased a brand new OEM charge port for this, which has to be soldered in, and also the old one has to be soldered out, so there's a job. And also I have this little Intel SSD that is going to replace the regular disk that's in here, which is really slow and, uh, well, it's... I think the one that's in here is a bit bigger than that one, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's an SSD, it's going to be fast. And she doesn't need storage because she doesn't play any games that are stored on the computer. It's more like browser-based stuff. Um, so, yeah, be good for her. Anyways, let's get cracking. There's a lot of work picking these apart. Okay guys, here we have the new power plug. As you can see, it has seven points of contact with the motherboard. Um, all around the edges, uh, two on each side and three on the back. And here is the old one. And uh, I've tried to snap these off with a little plier, but it won't come, so we'll have to uh, solder it off which isn't so much fun because I'm not that good at it, but I'll try. There's not much solder on any of these points, as you can see. Come on, car, come on, focus. There we go. There's not that much solder on them, so it should be okay. The reason this doesn't work is because my sister has been a little bit hard on it. And if you see in the center of the new one, 
there's a little plastic ring with two contacts inside and on the old one there is only the two contacts waving about in there and the charger won't stick in so let's see if we can't get this sucker off I've preheated my little solder gun here or soldering iron I guess it is and uh, let's get to it there you go guys one power plug replaced I thought I recorded the audio and the video of me soldering it in um, but it turns out I actually forgot to press record on my camera which means I only have the audio um, so I guess you're out of luck when it comes to uh, that but if you uh, have any questions as to how I did it just uh, right in the comment section but it's fairly easy just remove the old and I open the holes a bit uh, so that this new one fitted and I uh, well just laid it down and soldered it back in so it's fairly straightforward let's get this computer back together and try it uh, because there is a scratch on that motherboard that I made with my little sharp uh, hole opening tool uh, no uh, I mean a solder point opening tool not hole opening tool anyways uh, yeah rebuild It's alive and it's working a lot better than I expected. It is lightning fast compared to what it was. Still needs a bit of RAM, but we'll take care of that in the future. And also have to exchange the battery because that is done. Anyways, I installed Windows 8 for my daughter. Uh, basically, that's because the only one I had a serial for that I'm not using. I'm using Windows 10 on my main rig and. Um, well, she doesn't need anything new or anyways, and who knows? Maybe that serial has gotten the Windows 10 upgrade yet. I don't know. We'll have to install some updates and see. Anyways, uh, I was going to show you when I soldered in this uh, new charge plug, but I messed up and only recorded the recorded the audio. Oh, that's a hard one. Recorded the audio. Ugh. Anyways, works really well it's really quick and um, I think you'll be really happy with it as you can see in the background I have installed start 8 which is a start menu application for Windows 8 uh, it is basically just takes the tile home screen whatever they called it back then and just compresses it to a start menu that works um, because that's what was lacking in Windows 8 and a lot of other things as well, but 
mainly the start menu and it does some trickery and removes some corners that you don't use and stuff. Um, if you don't have that and you're using Windows 8, I suggest getting it and there will be a link in the description below to where you can buy it. Uh, they have a 30 day free trial I think, so uh, go try it out before you buy it if you're not sure if you need it. But I guess everybody's up to Windows 10 now, aren't we? It's been a fun little project reviving this little laptop for my daughter. Uh, it's an older unit, it's got a Core i3 in it. It came originally from my sister who had broken the charge plug in it. And uh, she didn't need it anymore so uh, I said uh, I'll take it off your hands and I'll uh, fix it and my daughter can use it. As said, as done. Anyways, if you have any questions regarding where to find hardware like the charge plugs and stuff, hit me down in the comment section. I'll try to help you out if you're stuck. Uh, if you like the video, press like. If you don't, press dislike. Maybe consider leaving a little comment below telling me what was wrong. Anyways, see you around.